There's a squirrel here that seems to be looking for its baby, possibly. But the baby is hiding, so it's not really making it very easy. But it's looking in the direction of the baby anyway, so I think it's seen it. I think that might be its parent. I'm not 100% sure. I know the squirrel came after it, but it hid from it and then that squirrel went away. So I'm not sure. Oh, it wants to go back up to the attic. Oh no. That's Boo. I don't want it to go up to the attic. Make a racket in there. I don't know how it ended up where it was. Yeah, it's just hiding. I think it's still looking. It's not really making itself very visible anymore and it's not squeaking like it was before. I think calling for help. getting warmer. Yeah, that's it. You're nearly close. Very close. Surely we should be able to smell it. There it is. <laughs> well, I really don't know if it's its parent. And how the heck it would get it home. Because it's terrified. Uh, it's seen it. Ooh. Ooh. It's blurry. It's stuck on blurry. I just found it now. It's rubbing itself. Oh, it's doing the cat thing. Why is it doing that? I've noticed they rub themselves on trees. Uh, sorry, I lost it. I think it's trying to... <sighs> I think it's trying to make a scent trail for the baby to find its way back. Oh, it's looking at me. It's looking at me. Eight, say. I rescued it. <laughs> I got it out of there. <laughs> but it's going back in. <laughs> it's bloody looking at me and judging me here. Help. <laughs> I'm being judged by a squirrel. Because I'm filming its baby. It's just, I think it's create a scent trail. <laughs> so it went down the tree to say, this is how you get out, is by this tree. 